Hey guys, Marzing in here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And so as I always do when the EZAs are about to drop on Global, I'm putting together a short little team building guide. It's not super in-depth, it's basically me going over the category and suggesting my top picks. And then I've got two potential teams using some of these units and some others that we'll mention in a sort of honourable mentions section, which I can show you at the very end. So... Finally getting the EZA for AGL Super Vegito. Obviously a lot of people thought he was underwhelming when he came out on JP. But he was already still a top tier unit without his EZA. Like I used him on Patara Super Battle Road and he was perfectly fine. So he didn't need a crazy EZA. Um, so we are very lucky with how good the EZA for Vegito Blue is. But So for his event the weakness is the transformation boost category. There will be a support banner up. Uh, do not summon on it. Um, hopefully there's a lot of good older units that people should have. So it's a standard 30 stage EZA, can't stun past stage 5, can't attack lower past stage 15. Um, obviously can't stun like all the way through. Uh, we get all the way up to the end and you get all of the medals. Uh, all, enough orbs to rainbow an AGL unit. So obviously the, one of the reasons these EZAs are so good is for people who already have the unit rainbowed. Because you get a whole bunch of free orbs. And then you get 11 of these Kai, so you can use 5 of them on him to get him up to SA15. And then you still have 6 that you can spare for other AGL units. And of course the 30 stones, and then the missions. As long as you're using a transformation boost team, you will do all the missions. And that's another 4 stones as well. So, we'll have a look at the transformation boost category. Now, obviously the two main leaders are STR, which means they will have type disadvantage. Um, Boo is not good in general. So, I think you could probably still get away with using Cooler. Um, but there are definitely some other options. So, if we have a look at Cooler, I know a lot of people didn't summon on his banner. But if he did pull Cooler, he probably is going to be super good here. Um, he doesn't get his early transformation because Vegito doesn't count as a pure Saiyan. Um, so, you probably won't see him transform because Easy A's, until you start getting past stage 30, don't normally go for longer than 6 turns. Um, but... In a way, that's good because in his base form, still gets a very reasonable attack and defense. And then he'll be giving everyone two key and attack and defense 30% as long as the full team is transformation boost. Because you're only going to be fighting one enemy. And so because he's not going to transform, he'll be giving that buff the whole way through. So even if you want to keep him as like an off rotation unit to try and avoid some of that type disadvantage attacking. Um, he's a really good support unit for the team. So I think you could probably get away with using him as the leader. Um... And then, of course, the Super Boo, you just, yeah. We don't want to use Super Boo. You can't lower attack. He doesn't have the best defenses. Five turns in, so you're probably not going to see him transform. But the only sort of benefit for using him is he does have a higher leader skill than any of the other sub-leaders that I've sort of looked at, that we'll be looking at in a moment. Um, and that extra bit of percentage can help. So, obviously, you could use this guy, use, like, a cooler friend, and then just keep this guy in the third rotation. Like you might be, if you you could be super lucky and just get him in the seventh slot at the start of the event. And then depending which stage you're on, you might not ever see him. So you could weigh that advantage of having the extra percentage over the like the fact you're going to take type disadvantage damage. But if we have a look, we do have the in LR cell. Um, well, actually, we'll go back to him because he's not going to be used for his leader skill. So Tech Broly is uh, a unit that obviously is a summonable LR, so not everybody's going to have him. But he gives Resurrected Warriors category key plus 4 HP attack and defense 130%, and then Extreme Tech types 100% as well. So you can put together a team with him using all of your Extreme Tech Resurrected Warriors, and then you can just throw some other Extreme Tech units in. Um, and whilst they won't get the event bonus against Vegito, they're obviously still going to get reasonable stats and they are of the right typing. So they're not going to take a ton of damage. And then even if you don't want to use him as a lead because maybe you are going to use Cooler. He's just really good to have on the team. Like obviously his defense isn't amazing um, at first. But he is going to do so much damage because he's a ridiculous damage output unit anyway. And now in this event he is in the bonus category and has type advantage. So he will be ridiculously powerful in this event. You might not see him transform. Maybe if you do get up to stage 30, depending on your team build and the leader skill. So obviously if you're running a lower leader, it's probably going to take longer. But yeah, if you get up to 30 and maybe even go higher to see how high you can get, you're very likely to end up seeing this guy transform and then he'll just finish the event. So obviously if you do have him, 
top choice for the team. Um, but yeah, this is the other leader that I wanted to look at. So obviously, Golden Freezer, if you've been playing the game for a while, there was a period back before like the 120 leaders, or even around the time of the 120 leaders, so I guess it was mainly before categories, but they just kept sticking this guy on every banner. So if you've been playing the game for a while, you probably have him with a reasonable amount of dupes. And of course, he has his easy A on global, so his leader skill, even though it's only 120%, for making a full like extreme tech team, that's a very reasonable amount because you're going to have such a big advantage over Vegito anyway that you'll be fine. And then of course, even if you don't use him as a leader, he is like a must-have on your team if you have him. He's one of the best tanks in the entire game and then in this event he's in the bonus category with type advantage. So even with super attacks, like he's just not going to take any damage the entire way through. And then of course, if you do drop under 50% health, with his easy A, he still will mitigate damage. So he probably is still going to take very little, even from supers. But he gets that additional 50% attack. So he's actually going to hit incredibly hard against Vegito. So I think he is probably the next best pick leader uh, alongside this tech transforming freezer. So he's been on a lot of banners now since he first came out. It was a while till him and the Goku came back. And now I feel like he's been on tons of banners. So... He obviously builds up as the turn goes on, he heals you, but he has the extreme class 3 key and 120%. So you're not restricted to tech, even though you do really only want to bring tech units on the event. Um, so he's another really good leader. His leader skill essentially is the same as the tech golden freezer. Um, and if you have both of them, you're probably going to want to run both of them anyway. Because free healing in an easy A is always super useful, since you can't use any items. So I think those are the best leaders. So if we go back to LR Cell, I feel like he's another good pick. I had a quick look at my box and I didn't have a lot of extreme tech artificial life forms. So that's why I don't think you can really use him as a leader here. But using him on the team would be perfect because he's in the category. He does huge damage. He can recover HP. Um, and obviously you're only going to be fighting one enemy. You can't do the attack down. So unfortunately he isn't going to get the uh, extra damage and guaranteed crit. But he's still going to be super useful, especially you could just use him for the 12 key super as like a healing unit. And then because he is an LR with the bonus category, he's not going to take a huge amount of damage from Vegito anyway. So he is going to be very good as well. And then who else did I? Oh yeah, of course, Tech Perfect Cell. I mean, another easy A extreme tech unit. He's obviously going to be very, very good. He does have that nuking style passive, so you do need to pick up lots of orbs in order for him to be really good defensively but I feel like in this event considering he again is extreme tech and is in the bonus category you're probably not going to have to pick up that many orbs before normal attacks don't do a huge amount of damage to him and then of course every time he super attacks he recovers 10% HP so this team like if you make a team out of all these units that I've just shown if you're lucky enough to have every single one of these a full team made up of them has loads of free healing, some really good defensive units, and some ridiculously hard hitting units. So you should have no problem getting through the first 30 stages. So if you don't have any of those units, we can go back and have a quick look through some of the honorable mentions. Uh, the reason I stuck to extreme tech only, um, I didn't show this at the beginning, but just like all these 30 stage easy A's, once you get to stage 20, there becomes this big restriction on certain types of units. So all int units, super or extreme, and then basically all super units, from stage 20 onwards, they just won't be doing any damage. You get 80% damage reduction. So you gotta think even on units that would hit for like a million, they're only gonna hit for 200k. So it's not even really worth bringing them, um, bar a couple of exceptions, which I show in one of the team examples. So in terms of the other leaders we didn't look at, Ribrienne has a 120% leader skill for this category, but her entire passive, like her attack and defense is based around having like Peppy Gals allies, and then she is a Peppy Gals support unit. So she's kind of useless on this team because we don't have anyone to really go along with her. Um, so we got LR Oob. Uh, because he's a super type, he won't do a lot of damage, but because he's an LR in the category, uh, at least with type advantage, he won't take huge damage from Vegito. He probably will still take a bit. And then supers will probably still deal a decent amount. But then he has that built-in ability to full heal. Well, it's not full heal, but he gives you a reasonable heal and transforms partway through the event. Which obviously, as we said, because you can't heal yourself, is actually super useful. So, uh, in LR Cell, obviously loses all of his bonus. So, 
he's not really going to be very good. Uh, we don't want to look at super types. STR, of course, you've got type disadvantage, so probably not worth it at all. Um, and then Cell, I guess he could be okay as like a healer, like as a backup unit, but he will get hit pretty hard. He's in the bonus category, but obviously he's a physical unit, so he'll get hit pretty hard. Um, 13, not going to be too good because you're not fighting specifically Goku. Um, Zamasu, I guess, could be okay. Um, he should still tank reasonably well. He probably won't hit super hard though. Um, the AGL Golden Freezer, if you don't have the tech one, of course, will be an insane tank, but he won't really do any damage. Uh, this cell we don't have on JP. Golden Cooler will be a good support unit. He's got the type advantage. He gives a support to everyone on the rotation. There's not enough heroes units for him to get his full passive, but he'd still be pretty good. Um, oh, this Boo, actually, we didn't look at. So this Boo, um, once he got his awakening, he does supreme damage. You can't stun, but he recovers 30% of damage dealt as health. So I know a lot of people actually use this guy on extreme uh, tech super battle road because that's a decent amount of healing as long as he deals damage. So if you've got some dupes in this guy and you've given him some good additionals and crits, he can actually give you quite a lot of healing. And uh, he is in the category with type advantage. So he's actually a really good choice. Um, the tech final form cooler is very outdated. He doesn't really have any defense. So he's not very good. In, like we said, loses all their bonus. And STR has type disadvantage. So that's a real bad situation to put yourself in and then no one on here i feel like is really good enough defensively to warrant being on the team like broly can defend okay once transformed but only like even against sort of like when he has type advantage he can still take reasonable damage so i think vegeto especially in the higher stages would do a lot of damage to him and then as far as non-tur's i didn't really look at many of them because Obviously, there aren't really many that are very good. I mean, this cell, um, if my mouse will actually work. This cell, whose awakening we don't have yet, could still be pretty good if you've made your entire team extreme tech resurrected warriors. Uh, sorry, transformation boost. Then he's on the team, and he's going to be giving that 40% buff and 3 key. So, I mean, even though he doesn't have his awakening yet, he'd still be really useful on the team. He will get hit pretty hard, though. So that's one thing to be wary of. So yeah, best bet is if you haven't got all any of the units that we've mentioned, if you're missing any one of them, best bet is to go onto the wiki, check out the transformation boost. Or I suppose the easiest way to do it in game is to just go into the team building and set to extreme tech transformation boost. See who you've got. And obviously if you have one of these leaders, I would probably recommend still using cooler. But I'm just going to show you two quick teams that I put together. And... We'll have a look at those. So, this is the first team that I put together. Um, as we went over, I'm using the Golden Freezer for the leader skill. Literally could interchange him with the Transforming Freezer and he would be perfectly fine. So, these are the units that I decided to bring. They work really well together. Obviously, we'd have the two Freezers together and then the two Cells. And have the Golden Cooler for support. Boo for a little bit of healing. And then I would probably bring a cooler friend if I could find one, or you just bring another, I'd say, transforming freezer, because you might as well have him as another floater since he can heal. Um, I think for the actual event, I'll probably use cooler as the leader and drop the boo, because um, I don't think you're going to even need that much healing with a team that strong. But I do think boo is a good pick if you're uh, missing a unit or two. And then this was the build that I put using the Broly for the Resurrected Warriors leader skill. Um, so everyone here is in Transformation Boost and obviously Resurrected Warriors. Now I included this Tech Bardock who I didn't talk about before. Uh, mainly for the fact that he is an Orb Changer. So he's on the bonus category and he is Tech. So he's not going to take insane amounts of damage from Vegito, But he isn't going to tank like that well. But because he's an Orb Changer... It then means if you have him with rotation, for example, with Broly, give him that Super Saiyan link. And then, yeah, give Broly all those tech orbs and just smash Vegito in the face with a 24 key super. And then on the other rotation, you would run the two freezers. And then if you do take a bit of damage on the Bardock or Broly, you have the opportunity for Oob to come in with that healing that we talked about. So I do think this could be an interesting team. Um, maybe I'll do a video of beating stage 30 with this team just to see if it can actually work. But 
that could be very interesting. So let me know what you guys think down below. Are there any units that I haven't covered that you would want to bring on your team? Let us know your team builds down below in the comments. And anyone who has any questions, uh, again, put those in the comments. And uh, I obviously try and read not only all my comments, but people are pretty good at replying to other people when they ask for help down in the comment section. So proud of you guys in the uh, Ningen Club. So yeah, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to actually stream for Geo's Easy A when it goes live because I have work. And uh, what I'll probably do is do the Easy A throughout the day, get him awakened. And then when I get home from work, I can do a video showing him off Rainbow on uh, some of the team comps that we can make for him on Global. So again, let us know all your ideas for your team builds and stuff down below in the comments. That is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Master Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. You can follow me on Twitch or join my Discord. The link is in the description below. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.